Hello everyone. Do you miss me yet? <laughs> it have been two weeks since we see each other. Uh, I have been on the road. I have been to Sacramento uh, in this past couple of weeks for a nail show and now I'm back. Uh, today I have prepared a couple of designs. And I'm looking to finish this one first for Halloween. Let me write down my website, www.tinovo.shop. And I will add in Kyla information. Kyla phone number is 417-772-4020. Okay, I'm going to pin it. Hi, everyone. Hi, Tara. Pin the comment. All right, I'm ready, Dustin. Oh, wait, I am the one who have to invite you. It's been a long time. Okay, I did. Okay. Hi, Lance. Hello. Hi, Judith. Hi, Maria. Is it nice? Oh, oh, I forgot again. Uh, no, I'm on um, internet. You want me cancel and buying? Yes. Okay, cancel. All right. You want to X out or anything like that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always work when I X completely out. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay. Ooh, hi, love in 313. Yay! Hi. Microphone immediately. Okay, good. Okay. okay. The other one is still connecting. Hi, KK Creation. So since we left, I got a few viral design. That bandana, that gold bandana I told you is gonna go viral. It go it's at like almost a hundred thousand likes right now. <laughs> okay, let me turn over. I still haven't seen my screen yet. Oh, yep. Yeah. There see we go. Okay. All right. Ready? Ready, everyone. Get ready for Tino. Okay. Okay. So I have this right here. I want to finish this. See, I I normally just dive in with no plan at all. But over the weekend, I decide to prepare. So now I'm I'm less anxious. I I don't get up. God, hi, Sesco, Sesco. <laughs> um, I don't cut up God now. So I'm more relaxed now. I already know what to do. All right, let's dive in right into it. Hola, hello, hello. Hi, Anna. Okay. Oh, and the world famous ombre, uh, the world famous ombre gel is back. Let's see, is it, uh, it's 10 nude. I'm using. Okay, so I'm gonna use 10 nude. And let's see, red colors. I'm using red colors. Hi, Miss Diva. Hi, artist for life. The deep, the deep uh, color tone right here. This ombre right here is stained glass gel. <laughs> Okay, and then uh, I need this. This is glam gel and spark gel. Glam gel, spark gel, and then glam gel. Ooh. Okay, so uh, no, this is pink. pink. Red. Okay, red spark gel. Okay, for solid glitters. And then jungle glitter, you glam gel. That means I need a sponge. Okay. 
So I need an ombre sponge too. I'll also take it out. And then uh, 10 nude, I already have it. And then I need, okay, so beading, all that. So I need top coat, obviously. Oh, uh, what kind of top coat? Ooh. Oh, Teflon Mac going crazy in Sacramento. It's all sold out. In Sacramento, not not here. We, we have a lot here. But Sacramento, we brought like 500 um, Teflon Mac all sold out. That's the first thing people buy first. Okay, so Teflon Mac, sure. And uh, let's take matte it and shine it just in case. So matte it, shine it, Teflon matte, all the top coat. Let's put it right here. And okay, so I'm gonna work with beads, right? So I need material for that. I need first is the bead itself. So I take out my pink box. Hi, Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah. Oh, you see me in Sacramento. <laughs> okay, let's see. This one? Yeah, I choose the smallest size. 0 0.6 millimeter. I don't know why. But that's why I did. So I have to follow through. Uh, I need a really good gel for the bead. So it don't drive me nuts. So you know I always use texture gels with the bead. Okay. Oh, and then I need this. Mm. I don't know if it's on the website yet. Oh, it's in my pink box. If it's on the website, if not, I put on it. But I think I already put it on the website. Yeah, and under the um, this one is a bar and pipe. This one is a bar and pipe. But this one, I think I named it uh, needles, needle and curves. I think I already did. I already did one. Needle and curve, curve and needles. Uh, if you will check it on um, uh, decorated accessory in stud to see if I have this on the uh, needle and curve tour, and I need some. Fancy shade. This is flam right here for the spiders. Flam, and then I need like a, a round stone. See, it's light cyan. The color. Just matching the shade. Yes. Okay. So that is for the spider, and now brushes. I don't have the. Uh, have the thing to do this along with you. Uh, you probably have all the gels. You probably don't have the thing to do the spiders. Uh, you just take any color stone. If you're missing a uh, color stone, you take any color stone. You gotta have bead. By now, you have to have some bead. Um, if you don't have the leg to do the spider, you can take pixie gel for now. You can take pictures and you can paint it, but it's nicer when there's little pieces that go with it. And of course, you gotta have this. All right, so I'm gonna put the spider on the side. And now I need brushes. So I have ombre, so I need ombre brushes for sure. And then beading and all that, I definitely need liner brush. I am going to use the 10 millimeters. I am ready. All right. Let's get started. Oh, it's my, my surgeon voice. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's my surgeon. It's military now. The sergeant, not surgeon. Sergeant. It's my sergeon. Well, I haven't used it in a long time. Since the day I'm up, I haven't used it. I was afraid that I'm going to lose it, but I did not. It's still here. All right. Get ready. <laughs> okay. It's that video. Okay. Now, let's get ready. So, I am going to do an ombre first. 
no lens, you love her, she's gonna be trouble the whole time through. I love you, lens. <laughs> you know, you'll never ever leave us like that again. I have to go for beauty show. That's that's people in uh, different cities that looking uh, forward to me. But I still posting content though. I am always ready, Sesco's. <laughs> Sesco, what what's music should I put that uh that Instagram doesn't put it down because anytime that I go on your live, I heard uh, I think it was live. Yeah, I think it's a live stream. I heard really exciting music. I wonder what music uh should I put down. I don't know if they're saving the live though. I, yeah, Sesco okay. saving the live because every time I, I watch Sesco live, it's never current. It's always saved. I need palette. Okay, so I have some red color down. No, I need some palette. Okay. So first, I need to check my brush to see if it's stiff or soft. Ooh, it's stiff as a board. Okay, so I need to part it out with some ash stone before you do it. You have you have to make sure your brush is nice and smooth. It's an ombre brush. You have to be nice and oh, way Hollywood didn't get the notification. You have to join a group. So there is a WhatsApp group that we have, and I'm sure I post it on my story too. But they have a QR code, and you just join a WhatsApp group because I alert everyone this morning. I'm gonna keep posting it on story just in case there's people that are missing it. Okay, let me see. Let me rock from side to side. Okay, better now. <laughs> the inside. Okay, the outside is soft, but the, the, the root is still a little, a little soft here. A little hard here. I have to make soft. Just... Hi, Lisa. Thank you, Sheila. Okay, now it's nice and soft. It's time to brush up like this. See that? Easy as that. Uh, just stay here. Don't go anywhere. Don't go down further. Just stay here. Just go from left to right, left to right. Okay. Now it seems even. You stop. You wipe up a little bit. See that? Now you blend the, 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 the edge. Just stay here. Stay here. Wait until it's all nice and soft. There. With an ombre here. Yeah. See how easy an ombre is? Tino, when you can you black metal fat, do you always do tend to stop wrinkling? Yes. Cause it look like um it look like you do it take on camera. No, nope, I do it thin. Uh what happened is I, I stuck on it, but remember I don't just stuck once. I, I keep going back about a couple of times. That's me kinda removing the gel but it looked like to people it looked like i'm adding the gel now i want to go back and stroke restroke it a couple of times i'm i'm spreading it out basically evenly evenly uh -huh. it's thick and pigmented, so it's yes it's very pigmented a long time ago i used my metal fed uh when i first started sometimes i have a couple of wrinkles but um i did my client when I would go chrome on and I top coat on and then I would mask up coat on and then I trace it back with the shine it doesn't chip with my client as long as it's top coat so if you accidentally have a couple of wrinkles you save okay so I am gonna nude I'm gonna blend nude down camera okay Now, when I'm doing this, my philosophy is two thick coat is better than one thick coat. So I am gonna apply a thin coat on. Remember, I'm keep stroking it like it. It's just because I wanna spread it out evenly. There. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? Okay, remember, you only stroke it like down here. That's it. 
you don't you don't keep stroking it down you only stroke like like this and then you keep going left all the way left and then come back come back go to the right remember if something's not perfect you don't just stay there you keep going go to the right and then go back to the left see that keep going back left and right left and right eventually it's all even now remove acid gels and then you find a new edge which is right down here there here ten yes oh our new is back in stock we are stroking down feather and down okay Hi Matt! Oh Matt! Hi Matt! Oh, it's been a long time. It's been like a month since I talked to Matt. <laughs> Hi Matt! How's life? How's Nell's life? It's probably super good by now. Yeah, <laughs> that's really helpful info. Thing for um, do we find out what? How do we find out if a lamb admit? Very easy. You take something that requires special effect, like um pigment base or metal fat gel pigment base is that here pigment metal fat gel that here chrome so i would take metal fat gel i draw a line and then i kill it and then when i take it out i rub chrome on if it's not good then that means the lamp is not strong enough that's how i test it okay another one or pigment pigment bay would do the same thing uh let's see what else what else can we test that make sure our lamb is strong? Usually, I just look at the wattage. I use like 50 watts. Isn't that how many watts our lamb is less than 50 watts? I believe so. Okay, I'm going to stroke over it. Just another thin coat. Okay, so here you can to look at my ombre again. Got a lot of people impressed with it but intimidated by oh my gosh i miss here in tino Giko on my friday morning i'm so glad you're back yes uh today again today sunday sunday is a big live on uh i'm thinking pigment it's time for pigment live um and then monday again and since right now you already have the whatsapp group I can always alert you when I'm on live. You don't have to m miss my live anymore. Let's know what time I'm on. Now you know. Let me look really closely here, make sure everything is blend out. My eyesight getting a little worse for some reason. I feel like I need to do LASIK again. Hmm. Oh, I need to be really, really good. I think I have to do another thin coat. Can't wait to watch. Oh, um, by the way, my bit, you don't have WhatsApp? It's okay. It, it's nothing important. It's just uh, people join WhatsApp. So when I go on live, I text immediately. So the timing are more pinpoint. Uh, if not, then you might miss like, 30 minutes, an hour of me going live. How can I join WhatsApp group? I post it on my stories. So uh, I post a QR code on my story. You just click on it and join. Do you need one of those magnifying glam? You need one of those magnifying glam? I use it before. It's so annoying. It made me anxious. Better just get the eyes fixed. Yeah, I, I end up using it to see like pimple or zit, but not nails. It made me anxious. Okay, I'm just going to do it one more time because I really want it to be, like, flawless. It's only flawless, but I want this metal to be, like, exaggerate. Drop dead gorgeous. En envious. Yeah, that's what I want. want to look flawless. Okay, so tin coat. It's help. If you wiggle it, then it helps to uh, press the tin coat down even more. Okay, very thin over the ombre. Okay. Really gonna 
better okay from left to right just using the feather on top don't use the root just the feathers okay now do the edge drop that gorgeous we drop that gorgeous for me an ombre of envy yes okay it looks pretty damn good yeah. okay thank you tara all right ombre done now so this is a glitter ombre so i'm gonna do a glitter ombre it's just a little bit tricky so start out with a simple nude yes i it's like a vacation for me even though i'm still work uh sacramento is still a lot of work but it's easy work beauty show are easy to me i want to go home i uh spend like uh, a week doing content still work still a lot of work but different and then uh, i'm doing live still work but different a little bit of different vibe that's what i thrive on i don't want to do the same thing over and over i mean that i want different change yeah variety, variety. like a buffet like an art buffet okay oh i, I do this to myself i i did another ombre to myself so i'm gonna do that again this is tank last shell number 14 is deep red Oh, I can't believe I did that to myself. Yay. Okay. I did another arm spray. It's like an art buffet. Oh, I have a little thing right here. A little fire spot. Okay, so glass shell is easy to ombre though. Same concept, just feathers, laying your, your brush flat like this. Don't go like this. Go like this, flat. And just laying flat and just feather it and just simply go from left to right. That's it. Do that. It's all ombre for you, like magic. Here. Yeah. Yo, yo, Crystal now, yo. Do you know, see, I'm excited and happy. Yes. I am. Then refresh. Okay, now. Spark gel, solid glitters, this ruby. Anya say he's hiding from us. Who? Me? Oh, <laughs> doesn't. Hello, everyone. Legend tried to give me space to do my things. I just got back. I just got back. I'm nervous. I'm like, oh, I don't even know how to do life anymore. I don't even know how to like explain. Spray paint out. And and you know I was afraid that I lose my searching voice, which is very important to life. Surgeon. My searching, my searching voice, but I still have it. Surgeon. All right. See, that's my searching voice. It sounds like you're saying surgeon. Searching, searching. <laughs> military voice. My mili my boss. Military voice. All right, everyone. If I join the army, they're gonna be fear by my tone. I'm gonna make a good session. All right, cadet. Now plan all the way through, and remember, light stroke. Here, yeah. still easy to plan. At this point, I should be happy and satisfied with myself. But you know, I never did. I never satisfied with myself. 
Okay, this beautiful ombre, lesson number one. Lesson number two is glitter ombre. With glitter, have a, uh, um, it have a rocky texture. So you cannot blend gel on it right away because if you blend color gel on it, you're going to see that rocky texture right away. So you have to smoothen the glitter up before you do ombre. So that's a little tricky um, glitters that you see. Maria say that and why are you hiding from us? No, he just give me my first, it's my first day. He just give me my space. Because usually when we go online, that sometimes doesn't get carried away and I don't have time to demonstrate my lesson. So it doesn't give me time to ease into it. <laughs> Is the glitter possible with loose glitter or only glitter polish? Um, okay, loose glitter is possible. Okay, but as I say, until this point, um, we're working with smoothness. So little glitter will be a little rough if you mix in with polish. Now, this is not glitter. This is leaf. It's different. It's tiny little micro flakes that are very shiny. And what it does is that it's lay flat. See it? But it's not glitter. Now, we're working with glitter. This is glitter and actual glitter. This is not, this is flat, it's flat. Okay. It looks like glitter because it's microphone. Hello, Roma. From Pakistan. You, you didn't tell them the other part too. The what other part? Where you said whenever you got finished, we may go up and eat it outside. Right? Yes, I fried us so, with food this morning. It's more about efficiency and you hurrying up getting done so we can get to eat by two. Right. Okay, so I apply. <laughs> Hi, India. But we love Dustin too. Just a quick claim. This is uh, how fans are asking for. A quick claim, Dustin. You want to show? Oh, honey, I didn't even put on the <laughs> He naked. Oh, <laughs> okay, now. Listen, you might want to move the TV over to the left just a little bit. To my left? Yeah, because you, we saw the TV on the, on the screens here. The side. Oh, of the got it. Okay, so clam gel is ruby, okay? Now, a lot of people are, are very stressed when it comes to gel like this because of the thickness. Because if they want to be more solid, they have to act more. But it's just so thick that it's intimidate people don't worry you just apply as thick as you want now i'm gonna take the ombre sponge okay i put on my finger that's it okay yes it's perfect okay now ready so i am sponging this on to soak up our the top coat <clears throat> so now i can play with it as much as i want i can add in a little more cut you know it's already so out. does that make sense uh -huh. now only the glitter left is really thin now you can always apply more if you want if you don't want that's fine the choice is yours now when i demonstrate it, i show people gaps the gaps like they were drowning for a long time and now they just Finally got some air, the gas, and then they start grab. They start to like, how you say that? How how people just hurdle over you, without being aware that you're there. They hurdle over me to get the glam gel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. now remember these glitters. So it doesn't matter how smooth it looks. It's not. Okay, so get the idea of your head that it's smooth, but it's not, it's not smooth. Doesn't matter how fine the glitter is, as long as it's glitter, it's not smooth. That is some kind of texture right there that we don't see. Thickness. Right. So you don't boot out over this because then you're going to see the texture. You don't want that. Hi, Kendall Nails. I'm going to shine it. Or... If you don't want like a hot top coat, you can take it from base. Doesn't matter, just a no white top coat. Hi, Tato Bunny. 
<laughs> Did you like my wood design yesterday? My wood now, my Gucci wood nails. Okay, today. Today, I'm going to make a post today. Okay, but I'm not going to show you. I'm just going to show you the thumbs. Are you ready to see the thumbs? I'm going to make it today, but I'm not going to show you the whole set. Just the thumb. Okay, ready? Can you guess what it is? <laughs> Can you guess what, what movie he belongs to? <laughs> okay. Now, you have to make this move before you ombre. You have to. If you don't, you'll be in trouble. You'll hate glitter for the rest of your life. Okay. Here I am taking the nude. Taking the chrome base or a no white top coat or a shanded. Just as long as it's shiny and clear, you apply over it. Make it smooth. You don't have to apply over the whole nail, just a little bit. So sponging on the glam glitter is very important because you don't want the cuticle to be super thick. Look how thin it is. I apply spark gel. I apply glam, two coat of glam. So now I apply top coat. Look how thin it is. I have my eye on you. Don't be bulky. Okay. Now. Ombre down. This ombre brush is literally saved my light on the feathers. It's nice and light, like a feathers. Okay, now the side. Have to watch out for the side. See that? Nice and clean. Cute. Oh, thank you, Masha. Masha said you are a bomb of positive energy. I like how you use bomb. Thank you. Okay. Now. So now it's all nice and smooth. Now I'm doing the ombre. Remember that. See, since I already did, like, part of it, I'm very aware of, uh, it's, it's, um, it's give me more of a thrill explanation that I already know what I'm going to do, right? But usually I'm just freestyling. I'm not. Now today you're a professional surgeon. Today I'm a surgeon. Oh, we watch Grace Anatomy, by the way. Grace Anatomy is so freaking addicting. <laughs> okay, now I'm on brain. So, a thin layer of top gel tan nude. I am so glad that these are back in. We have been waiting on these for, I have to check inventory today. Remind me, check inventory today. We mean check it, count it? Yeah, cause I don't want it to be sold out. Um, anyway, we have been waiting on this for like three months. We were desperate for this. Okay, flip your crown hand over. Thank you, Becky. Now, you see, you can you can use a paper towel to wipe this off, but I like to use this because it has no lint. It's lint free. You have that lint. Okay, now. Lightly. Lightly. Okay. Wipe it up. Don't be greedy. Don't be impatient. Wipe it up. Now, do a little more. And remember that these. They can also count at the surface. Like you can, your client would totally be happy with 10 fingers like this. Nice elegance. It's this cup, cookie butter. It's, uh, it's personal. <laughs> They've been talking about cookie butter. It's my secret. <laughs> it's my secret. I just have these spoonful, that's why. It's my secret. Again, this can also be a nice ombre surface. It's not a basic ombre. It's half definite. It's three colors. It's desirable. So this is a basic surface that clients can be happy about. 
Yes, I'm from Springfield, Missouri. Well, we closed to Springfield, Missouri now. Because remember, we have moved. We have moved. disclosed location, and we shall no longer allow people to know our exact location for security purposes. <laughs> okay, see this? See this right here? Okay. If you don't top code it first, this will be very prominent. It will drive you nuts. But this is just the first 10 codes. It's already look perfect. And that's a tin code. Two tin code is better than one tin code when it comes to ombre. See, I apply over this again. And let me check on my other one. Okay, my other one only have a little bit. So I'm applying this new a little higher. So that only a little bit of um, glam gel. There. Okay, stroke it all the way down. Ten. Cadet. Remember, make it ten. Okay. Sorry, I encountered a problem. What? What? Problems. Help you with your problem today. Okay, now remember, from left to right. I don't know that. The left to right. We're not as smart as you. We need a little guidance. Is there a friend? Should we call Siri? Oh, hey, Siri, how can we help Alexa? How can you speak up Siri in front of Alexa? Get rid of the letter slide. I mean, I don't know what's happening right now. Alexa! Lay low key music. It's my searching voice. They have to obey, right? It's effective. And it's natural. I was born with my search and voice. It's a gift. <laughs> it's make everyone listen. <clears throat> Hear this. Beautiful, perfect, clear. See that? It's my search and voice. It's make thing listen. Even a machine. It can help it. Okay, I'm ready to design. Okay, so let me take out these spiders. This spider is from here going up, so I'm going to do the opposite. And I love this way that I lay spider web. I love this a lot. I'm going to do this on here. Okay, I'm ready to rock and roll. Um, okay. Before I start, I need to tell you something. Most of you will think that this is how I'm gonna do it. Most of you will think, oh, Tino, to put some mad top coat on, right? The know it all gonna be like, oh, Tino, just gonna put some mad top coat on, and then you clear texture gel on, and then put bead on the top coat, the bead, and it's done. No, it's not. Okay, so see the time when you listen very carefully so you don't get confused. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the beat and sewn directly on here without top coat. Okay, I'm going to use gel to do it directly on the beat here, the spider here. Then after I'm done with all of this, that is when I do matte top coat. Because then the matte can coat over everything and make sure everything is nice and sealed and secure. And then... I trade back the shine. So the technique that I'm using here is exactly like how I'm going to seal my chrome. I'm going to seal my mat directly on the design to make sure it lasts forever. Do you get that? Don't be mistaken because it's very easy to be slapping on mat already and then dive into business. No, it's the opposite way. You do design first. Okay, so... I need my 10 millimeters. I'm going to apply some stone, so I need some glue. Put some magic glue. Triangle tree. Okay. 
Hi, honey rice. Can can client actually wear the go big without turning dressy or falling up? Yes. Yes. That's why you have to pay attention to what I'm doing right here. I'm about to to do it, but then I'm about to seal it. And that is one of the tricks. If you seal it well, I mean, wheat lasts even more than stone. If stone have 99% up, it's staying on. Wheat have 100% of staying on. Wheat are very easy to seal. It's very easy to secure. But you have to know the step. It's just a couple of little steps. If you misstep it, it can turn the opposite way. They might fall off if they are rough with their nail. But they won't rub. Cheap one dress because they it depend on the coating. If the coating is not quality, then it can peel up. But um, people that wearing the uh, bead and it's far up and now, it's not supposed to fall up. Bead not supposed to fall up. I wear bead and I, I go crazy at bead. Bead not supposed to fall up. I have doing it for ten years on bead, but the way it seal is a little tricky. Is legit. You have to think a lot about the top coat, about when to top coat. So right now I'm not top coating this. I'm leaving it right, just right here. And I need a palette to apply my glue. Okay, I'm about to put on some stone. Do you do you ever get hit with one of the bead when you're drilling? Yes. Oh my god, it's so hot. Oh, that is the most dangerous thing ever. Um. I never get hit in my eyes. I don't know how, but I never get. I, would. I never get hit on my eye, but I'm always fearful because when it touch my skin, it's burn my skin. You have to wear Google. I never get hit in my eye, and I never wear goggle. I never wear, wear goggle, but I recommend you to wear goggle. I don't want you to be blind before this train just started. I don't want you to be blind. Is your glue back in stock? Uh, no, it's not. But it'd be back in stock in like it it'd be back in stock in like um we have we have some glue left. We're not out of glue, but it's for show. We can turn it on today. Um but um the shipment will be back in like three days. So there's no reason of turning it on now. Okay, I am gonna boost some flame. And I need one round stone. Boop. This, okay. Put it on. Like I'm viewing from my personal IG account. Oh, that's making me feel special. Okay, now I'm gonna start to work with stud. Um, did you check for me to see if this online? I couldn't remember if I put it on before I left for the show or not. Uh, Tara did. She said it's not on there. Pins and needles not on there. Pin and needle. Curve and needles. I think I'll come in there. Whatever it was. She yeah, was. it's not on there. Okay. I can pop it on there very fast. I can just snap a picture and pop it on there. Okay. I think this is so small. What am I using right here? This is bigger. One, two, three, four. Sorry, my nail game is, is 
uh, is still here, but my count in game is low up. <laughs> Oh, why is is that sometimes apply and shine it? It separate like that oil on it, but that isn't. It's not just shine it. Sometimes when you apply top coat, you will end up with that situation. When there is situation like that, you have to check what underneath it, and most likely what underneath it. It's not necessarily have oil on the surface, but it the gel polish itself might have some kind of inhibition or the base coat might have some kind of inhibition layer that causing the top coat to spread like oil like like the top coat have oil in it but it's not the top coat it's what underneath it so when that happens it's very easy to fix uh what you can do you can take some alcohol and you can wipe the surface of the uh, of the base and then you can put top coat on and everything will be fine are those legs the same size? Yes, but uh, two of them are smaller. Two of these are smaller right here. The front, the front part. Okay, I have a paper towel right underneath it just in case. It's flop over, I can tack it like this. Woo! See that? That's how you open it. No, please don't poke it. I just, it's driving me nuts when I see people poking like they poking a little hole on the gel bottle. I don't want to see that. Don't do that. Okay, so I'm done with glue. I'm putting the glue away. Now, glue your texture gel. Take it out. Let's do a round around the red would be okay zero point six millimeters maybe closer so you can see it My eyes, I need another LASIK surgery. But my eyes are getting a little blurry. Why are you using the gel around the stones? Yeah, because if you don't use in, uh, this gel, what happens is when you put in the bead on, it slips up very easy. And it's like you have a bead on like this, and it's like more, and it it's just doesn't stay still. That's why I put in this gel on, because this gel ensures that the bead just stays there. You don't move anywhere. Hi, acrylics. I'm guilty of cutting a small square in the center of some gel. I say, Larry, crawl out the jaw. I just love nice and clean like this. I just. We loved her so much. Oh, Tara, love gosh. Love that. You have to say that. No, you are no. talented. Uh, you are so talented. Can say that enough. Thank you, my love. Lisa, me too, on that. Want to ever be as fast as you know? Um, that just takes a matter of practice. Now, when it comes to live stream, I'm not very fast. I only fast when I repeat some things. Um, so things that I only do once, like I don't know. Okay, this is my second time doing this. Um, this is one of my techniques. So of course I done it before, but I never done this before. Uh, I never done this. I never done this before. So it I'm a little slower whenever I haven't done something before. So it just takes matter of practice. If you do a design a second time, it's always faster than the first time. And the third time always faster than the second time. Well the first time you're figuring out the steps. Yeah. And other things you may or may not want to do. Yeah. And you might hurt a lot. You may hear people say, just practice, just practice. But you need to understand why to. It just build your muscle memory. Does gel work better than glue? 
Oh yeah. Especially for stud and for beef, anything like that, gel is the way to go. Glue is liquidy. It it get stick onto your katana, and since it's liquidy, your stud it wouldn't stay when you touch it, and when you take it off, it stick. It, it doesn't stay on the surface because it's the gel. The glue is liquidy, so you want something that are thick that keep it like this. You want thicker consistency. If you do glue before, you might know what I'm talking about. It just doesn't stay. It don't want to stay. And it helps if you have a flash here. Okay. So, another leg, another leg, and so on, and so on. Yes, it's going on right now, honey. Oh, yeah, I'm posting on my story. It's going on right now. But don't you dare leave in my life to go shopping. It's on and will be on for like a day or two. I know you. You're going to be like, oh, I got to go shopping. Yeah, you tell them if uh, it gets under 170 people, you're, you're, you're stopping the live. This is my, shopping. yeah, see, it's my hi, Jiao, Jiao, Ju. This is my um, first day going back to life. Don't you dare leave me to go shopping. You can shop after I'm done live. Okay, now. <laughs> now the legs. Are the legs the same size? Yes. These three are the same size. And then, this last one is smallest. Uh, I'm going to... Try to pop it on dry after this live. Take a picture and then tell Cindy to pop this on. Some, uh, I should card it. Yeah, pin the needles. It's some good Tara. I'm gonna name it pin the needles. Ah. Two phones, I can shop and watch. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pay attention to my explanation, too. Is it okay. compulsory to secure it for 60 seconds? Yes, because when it comes to this, you just want to freeze it for like two seconds because you don't have time to tear each one for 60 seconds. But you don't want to do it all and then kill at one sneakers because, because I don't feel safe. I just feel safe for each one that I know it's going to stay. See that? Click, 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 stay. It's not going anywhere. See something thick like that when you touch it, it's, it leaves the surface. It's, it's st stick on the surface. You just don't want anything that thin like glue. Have you decided to carry the square tips on your website? I am, but it's not going to be soon. I have to wait a little longer. But yes, I will carry it later. See, done. Now, time to beat this. One, two, one, two, three. Can I find all the products you're using on the website? Yes. And remember, today there's a sale. Can you undo or move the leg after a couple seconds? No. You can because you're strong. You can take your hand and just rip it right off. But the gel that curing it around it will have like a little groove that irritating, and it's very hard to like move the leg somewhere else because it's bumpy. The glue that are drying is bumpy, so it's just a hot mess. It's better when you just attach it to the right position and then cure it. 
somebody was asking something about it. the top coach that does in Spain. Or yes, Teflon Matt, of course, Teflon yeah. Matt. They heard about Teflon Matt. What gold pieces are you using for spider legs? Um, the spider legs, I use pin and needles for the spider leg. Now, I haven't put this on yet. Um, I will put it on today, but if you couldn't wait, I also have this uh, also available and it have curve, I believe, even though I use it already. But the uh, pond, bond pipe is a little shorter, a little thicker. These are pinners, longest. You are shopping right now, I can tell. That's why you asked. That's why you asked because you couldn't find it. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. You need to be in the zone for a little bit. Don't worry about making everything perfect. Just worry about put it on first. Just follow the line. Look closer, you can see. Ignore this red glitter dot when you're about to approach it. Just go through it. Okay, you had so many questions at the beginning. That's been over a year ago. How are we supposed to remember? What happened? What beginning? She was asking about it's, it's what passed now. See how quickly I forget. Uh -huh. Okay, what now. The beads are 0 0.6, the smallest. And you know what? That is smaller. That, that is uh, 0 0.4. I'm going to do that. 0 0.4. But uh, this is smaller so far. But of course, work with embellishment. The smaller, the better. But yeah, 0 0.6 is my smallest that I have right now. But later, I want to have the 0 0.4. Kill this. Short nail art, do it someday, please. Short nail? Probably not on live. It's so boring. Yeah, look at his face. Why would you want him to do something <laughs> that made him look like that? Oh, this side. So much more. Ew. So just do it. Just cut him. Just cut him. <laughs> Ew, short nail, not on live. It's so boring. I did now for Dion like every three weeks. Dion and Cindy. Dion is uh, Cindy's daughter. I did her now every three weeks. And they're short. You need, you need to let them know that they are short. We're just not letting them see it, right? You're right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, most people here also trifle want short nails too. And really, it's all about proportion. Right. But Tino doesn't want to make him smaller to portion because part of his passion is in the longness. It because most people think that if you can fit a design on, it's a matter of the space. So when I teach it, it's just about the proportion. Like, let's see the spider. You just have to know that the spider is the most important thing. You slap it on first. Whatever space you have left for the web, you put it on it's just that people want to see it i have short tutorial on my big page i just never done that on short now because i don't know it Ew. doesn't make you excited it doesn't make you, me excited. you do it and i've seen you lay out beautiful beautiful intricate you see on my detailed. tutorial yeah I've, i have on my tutorial but i know that it makes you sad it's it's not as pretty as you want it to be right you know it's so short I never even done it on like a like a false nail. I just every time I do the on nail, 
I took a tutorial. I took like not tutorial, but demo, just for the sake of it. But I never take like a nail and then design it on gradual. <laughs> <laughs> And, and and I guess the other way to look at it is this: if everyone stops doing short nails, the world will break. Okay, let me think here. Going down. down. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. Zoom closer so you can see. Can you tell me about uh, short nail? Because in my country, people must prefer first short. And the art didn't look good, uh, so this art didn't look good on short nail. So what I explain for people is is proportion. So let's say on a long nail, you have this ombre. You just know that this red and this nude are not half and half. When you look at it, this red is just one sixth of this nude. You do exact same thing on short nail. This is half and half, half red have nudes you also measure the same thing on short nails so what i explain for people about proportion is you iron it first and then you should do exactly the same thing to proportion it smaller uh for a design like let's say a spider like this where it's made out jewelry you slap on the spider first and your web might be like this it might be just a little bit like that but that was what they have to settle for if it's short nails have to settle for that and I tell people is that I uh, not very likely to do short now on live because I do it for content and for content it's like nail fashion get this like if you ever look at the runway sometimes you see plus size models but more of the time model are stick like um, they size zero they tall long legs and most likely have the same makeup, same looks. And that is a preferred standard frame to, uh, for a fashion designer to slap their clothes on because they prefer their clothes to look a certain way on the models, just like nails. I prefer my design to look a certain way on my shape to capture people's attention because short nail will capture some of the people's attention that need them to look at it. But for the majority, people don't care about it. They just don't. And they just not giving me light. And when Tino doesn't have light, Tino not happy. And when Tino not happy, Tino not going on live and doing design. Because Tino need a lot of like. Tino need millions of like. Does it make sense now? <laughs> well, maybe you should tell them that as we were driving home from California, every time you didn't get enough likes, we pulled over at a hotel and we said, that'll be another day with Alice. Yes. I'd be like, I can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> now I have like three, I think three or four viral posts when I left. I'm very happy about it. Is bandana is the biggest. The gold bandana is huge, viral. I was so happy. It's still running now. It's like almost a hundred thousand like. I'm very happy about my golden bandana. Um, my witches set and my neon spooky Halloween set is going very good too. About like thirty thousand. Angry care bear. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be good for Halloween. Angry care bear. But yeah, that's a such a wonderful vacation. I mean, it's not like a vacation where it I'm doing not anything. It's not vacation. It's, it's it's still work, but it's a gen of scenery, and I love it. I'm looking at it like like a vacation. Well, it, it it's a compromise. It is. Kia, yeah, you done with this? Wanna see how I seal it? We do. 
Teflon mask. And by the way, this Teflon mask is so thin. It's also make me very nervous when I'm putting a coat on because I always dread about it's going to be a little thicker. So it's how of it being a little thin. This is a stainless mask that that lady is asking about. Hi, shorty. You make it look so easy. It is easy. I just went over the step with you. And I already pre-do a little bit of it. So it's even easier for me to explain to you. I can go to all the do's and don'ts. Because normally, I wouldn't go to how I'm going to mat this, how I'm going to top coat this. But since I already done that, I noted that. I'd be like, there's something you need to watch out for. <laughs> okay, now, ready? Tap on that. All over. All over the bead. All over the gold. All over the bead right here. Just spare the stone. That's it. And if you want, you can smudge some top coat around this first, if you want. And then you use a shorter brush. A shorter brush work good with something that are thin. Okay, let's zoom all the way in here so you can see it. Are you doing another set after this, pretty please? Yes. I'm doing a quick uh, What time is it, Dustin? It is 12.42. Yeah. Oh, we might go to lunch a little bit and then come back. Are you going to be okay? Oh, yeah. When I'm hungry, I work more. Yeah. I'll do it right away. No. No? You shouldn't see. I, I knew this morning. But right now, I'm more relaxed with timing right now because you, you have my WhatsApp group. When you join the WhatsApp group, you know exact time when I go on to I alert everyone. So I'm no longer stressed about timing. Remember, I'm not sparing the beat. I'm coding it. I just do it in a way that I don't flood it. I make sure it's nicely coded. But like these right here, you have to work it out so it's not too thick. So your beat is still embossed, but you see, it's coated, okay? Remember that it's, it's glazed around it, okay? And I'm just going to map the glitter too. Okay, see this? I already coated this, but I have to go over a few times just to make sure that it's not cakey. Did we use matte top? Matte coat on the beat too. Yes, on the beat too. On the beat too. And, and let me just explain to them so they don't hate me because I want to now eat. What happened is I said, let's give them all back. Uh -huh. And then you said, let's run down and get Alice Irene, take a little break. And then I said again, I think since we've been gone so long, did I not? Is this not what we yeah, You did. And then, and, then, and then finally I said, you know, I really want to eat there we have to get there by two so and you convinced me and now i've been sitting over here this whole time thinking about chicken fried chicken and mashed potatoes and gravy oh i could rest it is. you got I, you could be so proud of me <laughs> you might have heard me talking about my diet for a while i found I, I did it i stopped myself yesterday oh i feel so good when i'm starved i work so much like I done like like three different content yesterday. When I'm full, I don't work. Right? So. And I snuck off and went eight. Right. Secretly. <laughs> I think I'm getting low skin. <laughs> you know, the reason is when I gain weight, I gain it on my face, but and I don't like it when it's like round like this. I like it when it's like supermodel like this. <laughs> like um like Bella had it. Or you know. Who? Bella had it. Bella had it? Yeah, Bella had it. Gigi had it. <laughs> Your LED lamp is so good. It's secure so fast. Uh, I missed that question. What lamp is that? It's E and M. It's a name. Okay, now 
See, it's all matte now. Now, what you can do is you can put shine again on it. This need a little more matte, by the way. This is a little too thick. <coughs> it's okay. Okay, now, I am going to take out some shine bit. Will beads stay on glossy top coat? Yeah. I'm going to say on wood glossy top coat. I just matte it because of the background. That's all. You can coat everything with shine too. That would be easier. But my background stay matte. So now I am going to apply on some of my shine. On top of this. These are not for securing the bead. These are just making the bead shine. Securing it is, is smudge it with top coat. Are you hungry? Me? Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not hungry. Okay. <laughs> the reason why I talk about Alice Irene because I was thinking about a cigarette. So I, I, was, it. I was thinking about a ride, a car ride that I, that I can it. have a cigarette and I'm not a smoker. I knew that's what was going on. I'm not addicted. And then my fear was is I was going to drive right past Alice Irene's. I'm not addicted to cigarette. I'm perfectly fine. See, I'm not, I don't have any stress. Do I look anxious to you? No. Not at all. Feel free to kill in between. Because I had barely woke up when you were talking about the break. We hadn't even started working when you were talking about the I break. Know. And I thought, you know, this isn't about a cigarette. It's not about me. And then, as we were driving to work, there you were, looking frownful and disappointingly at the empty package. No, cocoa bunny, not greens. Just cigarettes. But it's gateway. Amo tu trabajo son espectaculares. Gracias, Luta. Uh, how was that? Luz, tell us, Dr. Jackson. Okay. So now the rest are easy breezy. The rest are just, just web. Same thing. Yeah, this need uh, some more matte. I'm gonna put some top Teflon matte in here. It look a little shiny-ish. What's that? Cigarettes age you? Really? I know. That's why I'm not a smoker. I, I know. I know what cigarette does to you. It make your skin leathery. It make um. It make your tea yellow. With my tea is still white. Make your lungs black. Make your lungs black. So, no. Carcinogens in yeah. your bloodstream. It's make your voice. I no longer going to have my surgeon voice. My, my surgeon voice. I'm going to have a French voice. voice. French voice. A French voice. <laughs> I know that. I know all that. Okay, good. Now, let's do the beat uh, on this. Oh my goodness, and it causes ED. It does not. What ED? That, we wouldn't know. Erectile dysfunction. Oh, erectile dysfunction. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> that's easy. Oh, I can know the wood effect live is no longer on IG. Can you please upload it? Yes, it is. It's, it's still on IG. Let me check real quick. 
you get me anxious now. What you mean? It's not on the IG. <laughs> Votino. <gasps> ink. Uh, what? Maybe you should have. Not ink. Click right in it, video. You should put slash wood effect. Slash marble. Oh, oh, oh. That whole life is not just about wood effect. That whole life is ink. And wood effect is just one of it. See this video I did yesterday? This video, that is just one of the techniques that, that brown ink can do. Brown ink can do like 10 different techniques. That's why I didn't put wood. I put ink. Oh, I said I'm going to video it, and I didn't. I get, see, when I'm on live, I get carried away. I get right. too involved that I forgot my artist. I get too um, distracted. Excited. Excited. Okay. I'm going to put some beat. But it doesn't matter. It's your world, babe. You're in love with your last set. I just want to know why we we're talking about ED and then we jump straight into I can't find your wood technique. Oh, what's ED again? Erectile dysfunction. Oh, 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 erectile. I don't really use my penis. I'm how about, a good, how about LD? That's I'm a good in relationship. <laughs> I don't use my penis. It's a waste. Cut it out. Whatever you want. I don't care. I pretend that it's not there sometimes. And I've been a smoker longer than you've been alive. Yeah. A pack a day smoker. That's a, that's a not least. easy. I mean, they just use it as an excuse. What is going on with me in this heat? Let me tell you what we could do after this. What we could do is after these messages, we'll be right back and we'll run up. And I have a gluttony thing happening with me currently. And if you want to continue your diet, I could run up and get a chili cheese cookie. And then we'll just skip Alice Irene's. But do I still get to uh, do a joy ride? Yes. Okay. I That's like what I'm saying. It. We can joyride to a different destination. Because cause once we start out with Irene again, all right. it's all bad. It is all bad. Uh, how do you get notified when you are coming on live? Okay. Let me show you. <laughs> okay. Right now, there are 150 people watching. Let me show you. I did not save it. Oh, it's in my Instagram. No, I don't want to watch my live right now. I want to see my stories. I don't want to watch my live. Okay, it's okay. Uh, I just go on my live. Okay, here's stories. <sighs> come on, come on. <laughs> okay, it's this right here. Take this, this QR code right here. It's on my story, but right now I'm doing live, so you couldn't click on my story. But this right here, see the QR code? Snap it. And then go on it. It's on WhatsApp. Bam, you're part of the gang. Okay, I'm going to put it on for 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's gone now. Okay. Hello.
is it possible to use different chrome on the beads, legs, stones, in other words, metal pieces, or is it too much and doesn't show? You chrome? Yeah. Mm, on the metal pieces? Yeah. I guess they're trying to make it more shiny for some reason, maybe. If I was going to do something like that, I'd use your iridescent or halo. Yeah. But to me, it doesn't make it more shiny. Unless. Yes. Oh, unless you use some uh, different kind of stud that have uh, uh, not a shiny coating. Yeah, you can use chrome on it. It's just a little more trouble for you. Okay. You have to apply a uh, top coat on. Yeah, you can just treat it like a piece of gold silicone. You can put some top coat on and chrome it, then matte it, and then trade back with shine. That's what I would do, Tara, is use the stained glass to change the color. Yeah. It's just transparent. It'll, you know, just put it over silver and bang. Oh, so you have silvers. Oh, got it. No, we, we, don't, we don't know. She was just asking if you could put chrome on it. So the simple answer is yes. Yeah, you can. And then me and Tara made it more complicated. We wanted to be prettier than our vision of what her vision was that we don't know. Oh. It's make all the sense. Okay, so again, proportion. Half the nail. Start a little bit above it. Going straight down to the corner. See, proportion means you, you work with shape too. You know where it's land. So this is a square shape. Proportion on short nails. And start a little bit above the metal, go straight to the corner. The so next line is not a cross, it's still a little slanted. The so next line is not a cross, it's a little slanted up right here. The so next line is cut between this and this, it's cut right in the metals. Then the sway, see that? A proportion. Hello, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Uh, yes, those miniature lamps, are they on the website? Yes. Last year, a essential category. So, how long is this sale going on? The sale is going on for like a. I I don't even know. Labor Day is today Labor Day yet? You know, I don't know those things. It started yesterday. Right? Yeah. You know, I used to think that Labor Day was to celebrate mothers. Something is up with me and beating today because I don't seem to be on point with beating. Hmm. Maybe I'm excited or something. I'm Probably. distracted. Oh, it stopped picking up again. See it? Oh, I'm going to stop talking and slow it down. Like break. Thank you, Lisa. Says Thank you, Lisa. Okay. Next line is slanted.
Oh, that's what's wrong with me? I pick up too many beads. Oh. So, uh, and I have to fix it. Okay, one bead at a time. Or two bead at a time. That's why you uh, line up brush so it's easy to pick up uh, one bead at a time. Uh, are the codes to use for the sale discount? Are, th are there codes for uh -huh. the sale? Yeah, it's on my story, which you cannot view now. You click on uh, Tino Voda Shop, uh, and on the very top, you're looking for promotion. Let me look it for you to see if it's on that. Uh, yes, we will be on later on. Yes. Tanya. You have a wonderful... Okay, so Tina Boda shop. You're looking for menu promotion. Oh, promote right here. Promote right here. Promote on the very top and coupon and promotion and that's all the code oh they have a crystal sale too on 2020 what's that price on 2028 oh on crystals on the 2028 that's a different size it, it's a shape, 2028 is a shape. It's a round shape. Um, we, uh, after he gets done here, I'm gonna take him for a joy, joy ride. ride, a ride of joy. And then we'll be back within 30 minutes, no more than that. I, I just, we can't just let him have all the joy in one ride. Right. We gotta spread it out. Kind of step into the zone a little bit here. Realize we spent over 60 hours in a vehicle in the last couple of years. I know. I like it. I enjoy it. And my back doesn't bother me at the time it would. But normally my back would bother me if I sit in the car for too long. Don't keep your eye off the beat, just in case it's anything happened to it. Because oh, the moment you kill, it, it's, that's it, you're done. So you have to make sure that the moment you kill is straight. See, I knew all these vohos was not going to, they were just going to take the joyride. What? 
with with the implanted thought. Gosh, man. Oh my God, I knew it. We need to come up with a better name for it. I called it a joy ride. But it made well, me happy when I get to drive. Right, they had all sorts of nasty visions in their mind. We'll no, the it's innocent. Us, you know, the right, the innocent, you know. Man. Gosh. Oh, all of you did. All of you did. There's not a doubt in my mind. Wow. They take the definition of the joy ride and they make it daddy. They did. Gosh. All of them. I'm so proud of them. <laughs> I'm too. Okay. Oh, that's one of the benefits to being gay, Quake. 30 minutes, we never need that long. Three minutes, boom, tops. That's all that's needed. I and never tell them, happy. I'm not. I never tell them about my... About you. I can reach an orgasm with just looking. I don't even have to have sex. I never tell you that, didn't I? I can conjure it. When my mind is at a certain level, I can conjure it. Well, I just look at that Dustin and... Like a hot, hairy hillbilly. Yeah, I just look at that Dustin and then it's, it's happening. It happened. <laughs> Excuse me a minute. Here, Billy, now, girl, there was. We haven't heard from her for a while. Who? Coco Bunny says, wasn't there a hillbilly nail girl? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She get tire tread and barns and stuff. Oh, my client, right, Taylor? Oh, see? There you go. Just having to give names. Oh, shoot. You know what happened when they stop talking about my client. And they show up. Yeah, Taylor watching my live, so you better be careful. I personally miss so many of the ex clients. And then there's some I'm just so glad we never have seen again. No. But they're still good clients. It's just not on our standard. We have standards? Yes, we have standards. Would you get them one of those? We have high standard, But some of them will be killed for some of our crappy clients. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. It's just that we <coughs> have a long time, so we have standards. I wouldn't say they're good standards. <laughs> For them, as long as they pay good and they tip them well and they show up on time, that's considered a good client. Are you still watching me beating? I am watching you beating. I'm wondering how many more we're going to do. This is the last row. I'm calculating hot dogs. This right. is the last row. Okay. <laughs> I was going to tell you to hurry It's up. the end of it. Then you were like. You're messing me up with my beat now. You're making a happy ending. 
now my beat is tumbling around. I should not have said happy ending before we go on our joyride. They are just. You gotta be careful. They can't have, even think right now. They have fragile mind. Fragile minds and weak thoughts. <laughs> Yeah, this beat will fast when I'm paying attention. Usually when when I'm doing beat for my client, every time I do beat, I fell into this deep, dreadful silence until I'm done. Yeah, good thing we're not on TikTok. We shall get it all out of our systems now. I know. We kind of think that we like being able to go on TikTok and get banned and all that. I think everyone else is looking at it differently. Yeah, I don't we, care. We all get a little excited with trouble here and there. So, you know, what better way to get in trouble but not have to bond out? I have multiple platforms. I don't care if I got banned in one platform. You know, you got two sides, you're cocky. We shall learn through trial and error. I haven't do anything with threat yet. I'm just not a texter. I'm, I'm more of a texter. <laughs> I'm not a texter. Threat is about when you have something to say. Sometimes I got something to say, but not every day. But you usually say it to me and then we just giggle. Yeah. Plus, more what I say is R-rated. So it's not good for... Uh, you know, social media. It's not good for, or is it? Maybe for YouTube. No, I, 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 I truly do kind of like the whole band process because for some people like me who are a little ignorant to things, we may be doing something wrong we didn't even know was hurting other people's feelings. And they come and they shut us down and then we have all that time to think about it. It's just like growing up. Every time we get banned, I hear my parents say, now go to <laughs> your room and think about what you did. Doing this week make me remind of my mom. But when I was in high school, I, I picked in her safe. I picked the lock of her safe. I, I just want to see what's in it. I know there's no money in it. I know she put her money in her uh, deposit at the bank. <laughs> in her deposit box. So I just wonder what's in her safe. So uh, I figured out how to open it, finally. And I found her beat. But I don't know what it is. Her what? Her beat. Beat? She had beat in her safe spell it beat right here that one i'm doing okay b-e-a-d-s okay now i know where you're at yeah then type of dildo glow in the dark stack up condom and uh i i, I just it's like wonder it's, it's like wonderful because you never look at your parent that way but you know, you find they find they stuff. <laughs> kind of play with it a little bit. Not not use it, just play with it. Like, ee! just looking at it. Never look at her the same way. I never take her seriously. I never afraid of her. After that, anytime she yelled at me, I just looking at her and I imagine her beats. I like, <laughs> you're just a normal person. You're not invincible anymore. You're not immortal. You're not scary. You're not immortal. You're just like the rest of them, mothers. <laughs> oh my God. You're just like the rest of them. I think it's a. I think most children will freak out if I find it. No, I 
I think all his children go through that. At some point, yeah. they snoop their parents' shit and find out they have stuff. So one time in middle school, um, or high school, I'm not sure, but we, me and my friend, we found a condom in the bathroom. Oh, you used your clothes. Clothes. Okay. And 10 years ago, that was a big thing. For sure. kids like us, it was big. Yeah. I'm like, oh, who kind of move? And we're passing it around. Just one, right? Because we never see a condom in our life. High school kids back then are innocent. So finally, I was the one, I was the last one left with it. So I put it in my pocket. Uh oh. And I forgot about it. And <laughs> my dad do our laundry. I didn't think of it. I totally forgot about it. And I never found it again. When I picked that safe, I found a stack of condom in a different brand. But that one condom, <gasps> my dad saved it. He didn't tell me. Can you imagine what's going on in his mind? Right. He probably think that I probably have sex with a girl or something. He was so excited. He was so excited. Because he had gas up to then. He put a condom right there in the safe. Just like one lonely condom. He's probably going to put it on a little Buddha bowl statue thing and burn incense by it. So I didn't tell him that I found it. And me and him never the same neither. Every time we look at each other, I know that he know. <laughs> but he don't know that I know too. <laughs> He's love playing game with that. Gosh. <laughs> you can just tell me, just make it simple, but no. Just waiting. Keep waiting. Yeah, he waiting for something. For you have to talk. And then that time, back then, oh, that was in middle school. Back then, we don't have internet. So, how we hear music back then is uh, to CD. And, you know, we don't have free song meters. So, I'm into lyrics. So, one time, I would tell my friend to uh, uh, tell me what, what the lyric of this song is. So, I write it down. It was a, like, love song. And then I, uh, my dad found it, right? So when, when he uh, picked me up from school, he asked me if I date anyone yet. I was like, no, I'm in middle school. What do you mean date anyone? He said, I found your love letters. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I read a couple of lines. And his face. Oh, my goodness. At that point, his face is so cocky that I hate it. So I waited for a little while. I like, you find it, huh? He's like, yeah, I find it. I read a couple of lines. <laughs> uh, five minutes later, I told him it was so embarrassed. I say it's a love song. It's lyrics. He's like, oh. So he he didn't say anything back then. He thought that it was a love letter. And back then, it was a no-no. I have to focus on my education. Oh, yeah, no time for love. No time for love. Work, work, work. What song we have to know? Uh, Celine Dion. Uh, my heart will go on. Mm -hmm. but right now, I can just go on my phone. I can just find a song. But back then, it's not like that. Back then, your friend have a CD that have some song that you like. But you don't have that CD, but you want to know the lyric, but you don't have internet to go on Google and search for lyric. So you have to ask a friend, and then you have to write it down. So in your spare time, you can read it. I, I cannot listen to English song. I have to have someone write down the lyric for me so I can understand the lyric, because I love lyric. That red ombre is not all the way perfect. But it's not because of my skill. Because this red ombre is perfect. It's because of my distraction. Oh. I have to spend time with all my friends on live. So I'm distracted. Oh. So instead of 100%, I only add like 50. We're still good, not right? Oh, I mean, I it's, still, it. you're making excuses it's still perfect. <laughs> There's going to be more excuses to come. I see that Plus, right. it, it's not as intimidating. Oh. 
see. Sometimes it, the work has to be just a little bit crappier. Oh. <laughs> Shined it. It does. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is um I have to use the five millimeters. I cannot use a seven. The shorter the better. Yeah, there you go, I like it. That was something that I discovered and I forgot. Some technique that I discovered that I forgot. Not a technique. The technique I already have, but that's... Uh, I've got to remember. Oh! My fluffy. Okay, guys. Let's stop a little bit. My fluffy and I will have a live stream for my fluffy. Okay. Let me tell you a story of my fluffy. I had my fluffy for two years and I never want to advertise it. Because to me, that's just a brush. A fluffy is just a brush. Everyone should have a brush of some sort. You know, to dust. So I never advertised my fluffy. And in this trip, I forgot my fluffy at home. I forgot this. I have this. Let me show you. I have some crappy one. I have this crappy one right here. And I have this. But some reason, I forgot my fluffy. Yeah. In my mind, it's not really a big deal, right? I'm just gonna use it, right? Let me tell you, my chrome is horrendous. Like for most people, they still look at it and they still love it, but me, I know that it's shimmering, right? And this, I, I buff my chrome, I, I rub my chrome, but it would not all go away. And when I increase my pressure, I scratch my chrome. I scratch it. So I apply more chrome. So my only choice is to go slow because if it go hard, I scratch it. Because my fluffy before, I should go crazy, right? I just call it go crazy. And people say, oh, Tino, my chrome is so shimmering. Oh, um, Tino, it's, I don't know why, but uh, my, my chrome is, 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 when I put on, it's so shimmering. It's not as shiny as yours. And I just say, I just tell them, oh, you just dust very carefully. You go in circular motion. I just tell them to be careful when they dust. But I have never noticed the fact that the brush matters. I have never really go deep into the brush. I just tell them, just take your brush and just go, go truly. And, and, and they say, I did, I did, but it's still a little shimmer. Well, this strip I found out because I use a different brush and I swear to you, I cannot completely remove all the chrome. It's, it's like a little shimmer that is make, it's driving me nuts. <clears throat> so now when I go home, I can finally find my fluffy. I will have a lie on fluffy. But to describe it short, you need something that you can <laughs> sink into. See something soft like this, really soft. Because if it's stiff and hard, at the at the point right here, it's gonna scratch a chrome. You need something with length so it's more flexible. See that? It's flexible so you can dive into it. Because if it's short, if it's short like this, it's stiff. It's still gonna scratch it if it's short. So you need something long, soft. What else? You need some some other thing. Mm, soft on right here, long bristle. So I think that's it. Oh, and and not constricted like this. Like when it's tight like this, when it close together, it can scratch a chrome because it's too tight. You need it to be like that. See that? that so you can go hard and it's still soft with this i go hard i scratch my chrome so i have to go light and when i go light i can remove all the chrome dust 
so that's that was something I want to mention. So in case later on I forgot, you you know what I want to talk about my fluffy. I almost forgot that. Yeah, I never pointed out for people that oh you have to use this kind of brush, this kind of brush. I never do that because to me that's just a brush. To me it's a no brainer. But in this trip I learned my lesson hard way. So I forgot my fluffy and I think that it's okay. So and half the people been struggling because of you. I, I, I didn't know. So, I didn't know that the brush was that important. Well look, uh, what, I, what I'm getting at is you should thank me for forgetting your brush. You were angry at first, but I was look, so angry. I like what the fuck is my well fluffy? This turned out. I was so angry. I like where yeah. is my fluffy? But then I find these two, so I like, oh it's okay. I'm just gonna use this. Mm -mm. And since it's a makeup show, I should go and buy a makeup brush, but I didn't because I have this. So I'm like, I'm just going to use this. I was not happy with my chrome work. My chrome, I don't think that everyone can see it, but I can. I can see that it's shimmering. And as show, it's such a fast pace, so I just really flew through it. But in my mind, I was so mad the entire time. But in, on my way home, I think about it. Because I was just mad. I just mad that I have the crappy rut. At that point, it, that it doesn't hit me yet. On my way home, on the car, I, I sit there and I think, and I'm like, oh, finally go home and use my fluffy. And and then I think about how it's shimmering at the show, the, all the crumbs. And then it hit me. And then I, I, I start to think about all the people that ask me, oh, my chrome, how do I make my chrome more clean, more flawless? And it just hit me like that. It hit me smack like that. And I was thought to be uh, really excited because then that's another knowledge, right? You always want more knowledge. That is another knowledge that I don't have before. I don't have that knowledge. I never pay attention to uh, dust the brush because it's so common. You can find it almost anywhere. So if you do makeup and you have a really soft makeup brush, look like this long bristle, soft and well apart, not constricted, go into your bathroom, get it, and do some chrome right away. <laughs> well, it's just a makeup brush. Fluffy, it's just a makeup brush. But that's a different size and shape. You do want something with long bristle. You don't want something with short bristle. <laughs> She's 3D jelly, color 3D jelly, color 3D jelly. Use latest, some embossed. So we're gonna go for a ride that is fun in the vehicle. Oh, joy ride! Ooh, yeah, I like it. I love this. Should I make the tip more shine? No, I shouldn't. I'm happy with this. Look at this. This ombre drive me nuts. It's not perfect. Is that so, going to drive you crazy? Yeah, until I fix it. I wasn't paying attention when I'm doing it. Because I got you excited? Why well, I was talking and doing it at the same time. I don't even know if this is the best way to fix it. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Great, Stephen. We were thinking about you when we were in California. Great Diva is in uh, California. I think she's in the Hollywood bar back. Oh. We in Sacramento. On top of the coat. And now she realizes we're horrible step parents. That's the Venezuela. All the Venezuela I love. Is. I think I want to try them in black. Ooh, black and silver, black and purples, black and white opals. 
black silver and white Ooh, opal yeah. stone. Is it pretty? Yeah, you just couldn't tell with all this dawn shine on it. It's distract you. Tough on that. And, and mainly we thought of you every time we overindulged ourselves in something, Grace. You say we need to save up. That way Grace has got a good inheritance. And then Tina would say she could do with a little less. She's a strong, independent woman. Great got an inheritance. Huh? Our stepdaughter, honey. She got an inheritance. That's who we're leaving all our, 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 our nails and money to. Oh, okay. Yeah, this. She's the only one gonna take care of that <laughs> anything else we we have left over. Right. Wanna fake when we fake our death. Getting close to faking our death. We gotta quit mentioning faking our death. Okay. That'd be the top headline on. Uh, do you like my wall? Does he make this wall for me? He's still making it. It's on oh, this pink tape right here. <laughs> but it's easy for me to access my uh, product. Okay. He bought it like um, what is it like a uh, uh, dresser, uh, hanger, Clothes, clothing rack. It's clear. It can move. Display thing. It can move. It. Uh -huh. It's better. Uh -huh. And now that we've had it on the video, you like now it? I can utilize these so that we get that transparency. So Alright, you guys. Happy bashing time today. Uh, I. Next should be quiz for sure. I want to do something like this. Probably doing some more Crystal adjustment. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to do this. Oh, look at how pretty. So technique is a little, it's improved just a little bit from my um brown ink life. So I have my brown ink life. I this turtle shell. This one is improved just a little bit, but mm. oh, so pretty. You're gonna love this. Um, another one of my favorite. My second time did it. Uh, this time a little different because of this blue right here. I use liquid chrome, chrome liquid. Um, or you can use normal chrome. It's fine too. But um, anyway, mm -hmm. wanna go back? Wanna do this? Okay. And tonight on TikTok, I'm gonna do something. Let's just pick one. I have six. All right. Everyone, this is for today. No, this is it for now. For, for this live we'll stream. We'll be back after the ride. Yes. Of enjoyment. Of the joy ride. <laughs> Do you guys like it? Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at all the spiders crawling. Oh. Okay. This is my butt. I haven't lose it. You have not lost it at all. I haven't lost it. It's just like, the it's only just, thing you've lost is maybe a few pounds that you didn't need to lose on our little trip. It's just, Surprisingly. When I'm not doing live show for a while, I'm scared I lost it. I'm like, I don't know how to teach. But it's just because I don't do it. I, I cannot just do it when I don't have audience, right? So I don't know how I'm going to be. But I'm just normal. I'm oh, just honey, you always have an audience. I'm always watching you. I'm always. I couldn't just pretend to teach Dustin. So <laughs> so I didn't know if I still have my sergeant voice, but I still All right. All right, everyone. This is the end of our lives. See my sergeant voice. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now by MX. I only repeat what Dustin said. <laughs> Uh-oh, what Dustin said. I don't know. <laughs> But I can't wait to post oh. my video today. You said enjoy your happy ending hot dog ride. That's <laughs> not what I said. She just pieced it together like a quilt. Uh, yes, Josie, he will save the life. Let me.
me show you another one of my set. But just one finger. I'm not showing you the whole set. It's a satin set. Bo, bo, bo. You don't know where it is. You don't know where it is. Oh, I, I know what that is. You don't know what this is. You doesn't know what this is. But it's something. Get close enough. <laughs> <sighs> yes, yeah. All right. We'll be back in about 30 minutes. Yes, I will save this right now. And when I go back, I will show, I, I will get on WhatsApp and alert everyone. Um, the one that uh, doesn't know how to join the group, Tara now. You can just text Tara. She told you. She, uh, she'll tell you how to join the group. But me and Tara are monitor in, in a WhatsApp group. And it's not for conversation. It's not for anyone to talk. You cannot talk in a WhatsApp group. It's just there for you to join. And whenever, and nobody talking to each other. <coughs> whenever I go on live, then I go on there and alert everyone. Wow, Quay. She knows. She know what? Her character. She know? What character did she say? What character did she say? Right here, I'll show you. She say, Daddy has. You evil woman. Don't tell anyone. You ruined it. How did she? How in the world did she know? No way. How can she know? How can she know too? Oh. Anyway, that's crazy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, she. Oh, she did that set to that. What she know? <sighs> okay. Anyway. I get off here now. I will see you later. 30 minutes later, but I'm just going to alert you so you can uh, have the exact time. Yeah. All right, everyone. Bye bye. And in uh, two minutes, I am go going to uh, repost. repost this live. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye.